Rise and shine, you wonderful people. So now that I've started work as a real life corporate lawyer, which is a little bit scary, I'm working from home at the moment. And so I've spent quite a bit of time thinking about how I can structure a morning routine that sets me up for a really productive day. I like to see this as kind of a productive commute where I use the time I would have spent on trains and walking around London doing stuff that I actually want to do. I usually wake up at around 7 unless I've been working crazily late the night before in which case I let myself have a bit of a line and my morning routine takes about an hour and a half until around 8.30 so I'm still getting to work pretty early. When the pandemic first started, I was letting myself go on my phone first thing on a morning to check what was going on and to try and ease my general panic about coronavirus. But since then, I've got into a really bad habit of waking up, reaching straight for my phone and spending probably about half an hour procrastinating first thing. Not a great way to start the day, to be honest. I've realized I waste ages doing what I call unproductive productivity tasks. It's stuff that feels like it's at least kind of productive, but just really isn't. Looking for places to rent a flat in London, even though I've already looked through every single flat on Rightmove, looking how my YouTube channel is doing, scrolling through rubbish emails, and looking on LinkedIn instead of Instagram, although Instagram I often end up looking at anyway, now that I'm a serious professional. In order to reduce this screen time, I came up with the idea of making the first page of my phone have the only apps that I'm allowed to access before 9am. And this is something you might like to try out yourself. I'm going to make another video about exactly what's on my phone and why, but I've basically limited my pre 9am app usage to the news, that's the BBC News app and Le Monde to keep up my French reading, my alarm, my to-do list in Trello, my habit tracking app called Done, and then the apps I use for learning stuff from Busu, Kindle, Skillshare and Datacamp who are kindly sponsoring this video. And I alternate between these for my morning learning session, but we'll get to that in just a little bit. I'm also allowed to check my emails for anything urgent. Anyway, when I first wake up, I check my work and personal phones to see if anything urgent has come in overnight, mainly for messages from my supervisor at work, my video editor, Eric, or any emails that need replying to urgently. And I then let my brain gently wake up by spending up to 10 minutes looking at the BBC News and Le Monde. So assuming nothing urgent has come in overnight, that's around 10 minutes. Next up, I get up and head straight downstairs for some breakfast. I'm still having a bowl of fruit and yogurt, and I know it's pretty high in sugar, so some people say you shouldn't do that, but I personally find porridge way too stodgy, and I don't like eating too much bread in a day and generally have a sandwich for lunch, so I'm not really sure what the other options are open if you have any suggestions. I catch up with my stepdad, Sai. I'm back living at home for now, in case you haven't already noticed watch some news and read through the daily newsletter I receive from Finimize, which gives me updates on big movements in the world of business and stock markets, completely free and very helpful if you're interested in that kind of thing. I should add that having breakfast pretty much straight away is based on my being able to do some exercise in the evening instead of the morning at around 7.30 p.m. when I finish work. But if I'm really busy and know that I'm going to struggle to get some exercise in, I sometimes go for a morning run or workout before I eat. Back to this morning and this is probably my favourite part of my morning routine and it's a quick 10 to 15 minute stroll. Now I've tried meditating in the past and I've never really got into what people conventionally consider as meditation, i.e. sitting still and centering on something like your breathing. Instead, I find that walking is a much more effective means of being in the moment for me. I spend the first five minutes, and sometimes much more, of my walk just listening, looking around and feeling the tarmac under my feet. I try to think of nothing and just enjoy the world around me, so if you struggle with normal meditation, you might find this worth trying out. Now sometimes I'll just think of nothing for the whole walk and kind of use this time for meditation, but more often I then try to practice gratitude, affirmation and focus. And these are things that lots of people say you should build into a morning routine, but I found that the walk is the perfect time to build these in. 
You may have seen that for a while I was writing down three things I'm grateful for as part of my daily routine at the start of the day, but to be honest I found this a bit of a drag and ended up giving up after a couple of weeks, so I've now shifted to just doing this in my head on my walks. When I'm out on my walks, I think broadly about stuff from each of the different aspects of my life. So first of all, I think about how those things are going and generally about how lucky I am. So that's the gratitude part. I then try to be positive about the progress that I've made or that I'm making. That's the affirmation part. And then finally, I think about a couple of things or maybe just one thing that I'm focusing on and what I have coming up today and this week. And that's obviously the focus part. So what's appearing on screen now is just an example of what I thought about this morning, but it gives you an idea of how you might just spend 10 minutes walking somewhere or on a stroll, zooming out and looking at your life from a slightly more detached perspective. I think it's so easy for us to become absorbed in the nitty gritty little things of whatever we're focused on at that moment and to let these small things dictate our mood way more than is rational. The other day I wasn't happy with the way I'd filmed a bit of a video and really let it ruin my mood. But when I woke up and went on this morning walk and went through all the reasons I have to be grateful, how much progress I've been making and just zooming out made my day radically better than it otherwise was going to be. So yeah, if you're working or studying from home, a quick 15 minute morning stroll is amazing. When I get back from my walk, another amazing addition to my morning routine has been spending 10 or 15 minutes learning something. In the past, I might have wasted 10 or 15 minutes scrolling through Instagram, but I now allow myself to choose from one of three activities, learning Japanese through Busu, reading, I'm currently reading Sapiens, and Reminiscence of a Stock Operator, which is basically the book for learning about the stock market, apparently, and learning data science or coding using Datacamp, who, as I say, are kindly sponsoring this video. Now I'm starting work as a trainee lawyer and tech and big data are radically changing the way everything works and I want to be at the forefront of the drive towards using data to make my life as a lawyer efficient and frankly to spend more time doing stuff that's really exciting and interesting regardless of what industry you're in understanding data is crucial. Now, DataCamp has over 300 courses from Python to SQL to Microsoft Excel to help you understand the power of these tools. DataCamp basically has a series of lessons that get you to understand how things work, often with concise explainer videos. And once you've understood something, you actually have a go at coding for yourself. Once you've got to grips with an area, there are tons of real world example use cases so you can shift from learning into practicing. I'm also really impressed with the performance of the mobile app. Often practicing coding on your phone from other apps that I've used is really clunky, but this actually performs amazingly. Datacamp make the first chapter, which is quite a bit of content, of each of their courses completely free, so there is plenty to learn without paying anything. And then if you feel like you want to take your skills up to another level, the premium version is pretty flipping great. So yeah, follow the link at the top of my description to support my channel and sign up to try out Datacamp for free. Pretty much the last part of my morning routine is a new addition and I can't believe I'm saying this because I'm so far from a hippy dippy easy breezy loosey goosey kind of a guy but it's a 10 minute YouTube yoga class with Cassandra and this has become something I now do every day. Working from home I'm pretty much sat at my desk all day every day even more so than I would be in an office where I would at least have to walk to the office, walk around the building and maybe go to a meeting. Aside from stretching, Cassandra also makes you come up with one word that is going to be the driving force for your day as part of the yoga routine. And for me, enthusiasm, smiling or relaxed are some of the words I think of, for example. And while this may sound a bit wishy-washy, I actually find this does stay with me throughout the day. I then mark stretching as done in my habit tracking app called Done. Next up, before I sit down to work, I like to brush my teeth, uh, shave generally, and I like to wet shave. It's better for my skin, I find. I then shower, dry off, and moisturize with Nivea Soft. Uh, and this is the best moisturizer I've ever used, so I do highly recommend. And I then get dressed into some shorts and a t-shirt or a shirt. I'm allowed to be casual working from home, but I try not to wear trackies, so I feel like I'm really in work mode, but comfortable. 
and I then sit down at my desk to get to work by around 8.30, 9 o'clock. And I've got to say the first thing that I do is I practice the two minute rule and I've made a video on this in the past, but it's basically where any task that I have to do at work that's gonna take less than two minutes, I just tick off. So I will go through my emails and just reply to any little emails or little things like we have to fill in how busy we are at work. I'll get those things done at the start of the day so they're just out of my mind and I can focus on the real work that I need to be doing. And finally, you may have noticed I didn't have a coffee at all as part of my morning routine. And I make my first coffee of the day at 11ish now as a little break from work. And I'm trying to cut down on my coffee drinking to one or two cups a day. So that's why I didn't have one first thing with my breakfast. So yeah, that is pretty much my new work from home morning routine. And I hope there are little bits that you can steal for yourself I definitely say that the combination of walking, learning and yoga for just 10 or 15 minutes each is an amazing way of setting yourself up to feel much better than if you just get straight to work on a morning. And having started your day right, you then need to get motivated to smash the rest of the day. So watch my video on how to get motivated. And finally, remember, you can download Datacamp through the link in the description. And remember, smile more.